Hello, what's up YouTube, Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily create your presets or we can simply call them LUTs or color lookup tables and the short form for color lookup tables is LUTs, L-U-T-S. So I want to show you how you can easily create and save them and apply them to your images later on. So they're going to be, presets are going to be helping you to color grade your images faster in Photoshop with just a single click or they can just be a starting point and by the way I have my LUT pack in the description of this video if I really want to purchase my latest skin tone LUTs the link is going to be in the description to my digital store so right into Photoshop we have the adjustments and the image you have been working on so when you come to adjustments right here and we come to color lookup by default and we come to uh, these other options, we can see by default we have a couple of LUTs within the Photoshop interface and these don't work best on images because if at all I randomly click on the images you see they don't work good the original LUTs within Photoshop so I want to show you how you can easily create your own and before you create your own LUTs always make sure that you only have one layer right here so you can see I've been working on the image and I already did the skin retouching on it and that is what I have so far so what I'm going to do I'm going to select or I'm simply going to merge all these layers so that I have one one layer right here because when you have these other groups or folders or other adjustment layers it means that that is is not going to be saved quite well and you may not be having the best out of the saving process of your light so make sure you take that into consideration so I'm just going to come under my layer option and I scroll down right here and I'm going to come to merge visible and it's going to merge these layers for me so in this tutorial we're just going to be doing a random color grading and if at all you love it you can as well copy it and apply it as a lot so we're just going to try to color grade this image and later on save the adjustments so that we can apply them to this same photo later on in this tutorial so the very first thing I'm going to I'm just going to come to first of all my hue and saturation and since I'm going to be playing around with the colors within the skin tone I'm just going to come to my reds rather and I could come I turn down the saturation of my reds just like that and if at all I feel like I could add a hue to my red so I'm just going to add a slight hue and take the lightness down slightly and I could come to the yellows remember I'm just playing around with the colors that are lying within the skin tone of the model so I'm just going to come to my yellows and I see what works best for me. I'm just going to take the hue of my yellows up a little bit and also take up my saturation a little bit and take down my lightness just like that. So you can as well go ahead and play around with these colors. So I'm just going to come back to my adjustments and I'm going to create another ad so I'm basically creating random adjustments to this photo just going to come and add a little bit of contrast to this photo and as you're creating your light always make sure that you take it to the very extreme because you're going to be able to have an option to reduce on that light after applying it to your images in the future so I'm just going to add contrast so make sure that you take everything to the very maximum so I'm just going to come and create a black and white adjustment layer and simply change the blend mode to multiply and simply reduce on that so I just want to darken as the model skin so I'm just going to take it to around 20 and after doing that I'm just going to come back to the adjustments and I look for uh, my color balance tool and under this you can add a specific color maybe to the midtones so let's just add a little bit of greens to our midtones just like that and let's add a little bit of science to our emitter so negative 2 is fine 
then you're going to come to the highlights and simply I would prefer to add a little bit of greens and reds so I'm just going to add greens and reds to our highlights of this image so after doing that I'm just going to come and I create another adjustment layer so for this case I'm just going to come and add a little bit of vibrance to this image so I'm just going to come to my vibrance and make it a little bit more vibrant and simply drop down the saturation just like that so after doing that I'm just going to come and I create one more levels adjustment layer to add a little bit of contrast within this image so I'm just going to come and add just a little bit of contrast to this photo just right there and I'm going to come to my selective color option and under selective color I'm going to add under the blacks I'm just going to add more of the blacks just like that and I'm going to come to my reds and I'm going to add some little bit of science to this image just like that and I'm going to come and also intensify on the blacks within the reds just like that then I'm going to come back to my blacks and add some little bit of blues so remember the opposite of yellow as I'm taking the yellow slide that was the left hand side under the blacks it is adding blues to those black areas so that looks good and so far these are the adjustments and they are really in separate layers so what I want to do I'm just going to come and I show you the before and after for the color grading this is the image before and this is the after before after so what I'm going to do in this case I'm simply going to create a lot for this specific image and in order to create that light I'm simply going to come right here to file so under file I'm just going to come to export and I come down to color lookup tables so after doing the adjustments don't put them in a group and you come to this step right here so export and come to color lookup table so you just want to save it as a preset to apply it later on on images for example from the same shoot so I'm just going to come to my description you can add a description for your lot and I'm just going to name this maybe to try your try your lot and copyright I'm just going to add drone photography so make sure right here the grid points 32 and medium are selected because we just want the light to load quickly then make sure cube is also checked so that the light can load faster within Photoshop and simply come and hit OK. So when you hit OK, we just want to rename our light to the name that we want for the final light. So I'm just going to name it try your light or try your lookup table and I'm just going to save it to my desktop and simply hit save. So we are going to wait and the light is going to be saved. So all that has been saved and we just want to see how good it looks to all on this image. And if at all it looks the same with the adjustments we just made to this photo. I'm just going to put our adjustments to a group and select everything and drag them into a group. Then I'm going to hide that group. So just come to the background there and make sure it is selected. Then come back to color lookup table. Remember where we saved our lot? We simply saved our LUT on the desktop. So just going to come to load 3D LUT and come to my location and look for my LUT. And that is the trial LUT cube and simply select it and hit open. So you can see it has automatically color graded the image and it really looks nice and awesome. So you can see the before and the after, before, after. So if at all you feel a light is too much, you can just come and turn down the opacity of that light. So basically this is how I do my color grading or how I save my lights for future use and color grade images in future. And if at all you have found this helpful, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. 
If at all you have been watching and you haven't subscribed or hit the like button on this video, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.